accused of shooting and killing a Buckhead valet has been caught. Good afternoon. I'm Christine Spiro. Thanks so much for joining us today. This is 22-year-old Randy King, and this is the victim here. King is accused of gun... <laughs> Yo, man. Valet beat... We turned the valet game into violence. Like, literally, just valeting is just part of the... American culture that goes unnoticed. You know, it's like one of the silent things. It's like the street sweepers. At, at, at like four o'clock in the morning, they come sweep the streets. You never see them. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Right. Yo, they're going to throw this brother under the jail, though. You can't, you can't kill a glider. Right, man. They got to, they're going to hang him from a tree, man. Accused of shooting and killing a Buckhead valet has been caught. Good afternoon. I'm Christine Spiro. Thanks so much for joining us today. This is 22-year-old Randy King, and this is the victim here. King is accused of gunning down Harrison Olby last month. Fox 5's Tyler Finger spoke to the victim's mother this afternoon. Tyler is live at the Fulton County Jail where King is being held. Correct, Tyler? Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. Harrison Olby's mom tells me that she is just happy that there has finally been an arrest. She has waited nearly six weeks for this. She says she got a call last night that Randy King was in custody, and she says that she cried, but she says it won't bring her son back. After weeks on the run, one of Atlanta's most wanted is now off the street. 22-year-old Randy King's luck ran out Wednesday when police say his own family turned him in. Six weeks felt like forever. Autumn Ernst is Harrison Olvey's mom. Police say King shot and killed Olvey on September 3rd in a nightclub parking lot in Buckhead. Investigators say Olvey was working as a valet when he tried to stop several men, including King, from breaking into a car. Oh, fuck. Like, yeah, man. Let me talk to you, Glider, man. I mean, Jesus, man. Call the police, man. Call the police, man. She'll call the fucking cops. From a distance, too. Don't walk up on them. Hey, I ain't calling the cops, mister. No. Like, you saw them doing that shit? Stop down 911. Da, 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 da. If they don't come, those people who car, they just fuck. Those people are just short. Their shit's gone. Under no circumstance do you go over there and confront these motherfuckers. Right. If you it feels like uh suicide by a cop wouldn't be as effective as going up to a brother and you know getting on his bumper, he gonna smoke you. Look at this guy, man. I mean, look at his eyes. Look at his wily eyes, man. Look at the yeah. neck tattoos, man. He definitely pop pills. Yeah, this brother right here, he going to lay down and do this time. Like, just part of life. Like, where it's like, this guy right here, he would have probably killed himself if he got a 20 years. This guy going to get, what, 20, maybe 20, 20, 20 year sentence. If this guy got if this guy got two years in jail, he would fucking be suicidal. This guy's gonna lay down and do this 20 years standing on his head like it's nothing. Right. Yo, I I wonder, Chief, if uh this story here, because we see this happen a lot, right? Doing what doing what you do here. I wonder if we showed this story to Anna Kasparian, right? And explain to her what we've seen and uh you know, connect the dots. Like what I what would she say about that? Would she still like deny it, or would she finally admit to herself the reality? I think I think she would turn. I think she's turning the corner. But yeah, I don't trust her. Um, but she is turning the corner. I don't think so. I, I think uh, maybe slowly, but I think it's like a black conservative perspective said: if you want to turn a liberal conservative, give them exactly what they asked for. Yeah, I feel bad for this kid, man, because he probably was like, he'd probably done that before with like a crackhead or a junkie, like breaking into cars. And he went over there and approached him and said, hey, man, 
But this is a this was a this is a sun team, man. This is a sun man right here, man. You can't do that shit, man. Wednesday, when police say his own family turned him in. Six weeks felt like forever. Autumn Ernst is Harrison Olvey's mom. Police say King shot and killed Olvey on September 3rd in a nightclub parking lot in Buckhead. Investigators say Olvey was working as a valet when he tried to stop several men, including King, from breaking into a car. Why did you feel the need to shoot my son? He asked a simple question. And what, what made you... Cause he asked a simple question. Kill him. Hours after being booked and taking this mugshot, King was supposed to make his first court appearance Thursday morning, but that didn't happen. Jailers tell Fox 5 he didn't have an attorney and refused to appear. For the time being, King will remain behind bars. I want to start haunting his nightmares. I want him to remember my face. I want him to have nightmares. <laughs> Just don't understand, man. Like the only thing that can give him nightmares is consequences. Like her work. guilt trip. Yeah, her guilt trip and her feeling. Look at me. I, you killed my son. I want you to look at me. That shit don't mean. Like it just doesn't move the needle with sons, man. And I'm sure it don't mean move the needle with hardened criminals of all races. But it definitely don't move the needle with sons. He. He might laugh at you in court, make you feel even worse. You gonna we gonna leave court feeling even worse when he starts smirking and smiling at you. His nightmares. I want him to remember my face. I want him to have nightmares from seeing me. Olvi's death has hit his mom and family hard. Ernst says his bright future was taken away by a bullet, and she wants King to pay for what he's accused of doing. Olvi's mom says he had just graduated from Kennesaw State and was about to start a new job. Mmm, just graduated, man. Mmm. Sounds about right. Start a new job. I just don't want anybody to forget the name Harrison Olby and what a wonderful person he is. He was. You know, I still really appreciate. I still really appreciate what the mom said, though. You know, even though everything you said is true, I I love what she said. Um. I mean, we're not done yet. Maybe she's gonna forgive the guy at the end of this, but so far, I like it. Yeah, so far she hasn't forgiven him. And give it, you know, but she, 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 she's, um, she's talking, saying all the right things. Though, salute to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Salute to Eric S. Occupation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Those two guys have come through just about every night during this streak. Last time we, last time I took a day off was May twenty second. I think both those guys have come through every night since then. Salute to those two, man. I just don't want anybody to forget the name Harrison Olby and what a wonderful person he is. He was. And I just spoke to King's mother just a short time ago, right here at the Fulton County Jail. She tells me that she believes he's being treated unfairly, and she says that he did not kill anyone. You're going to hear from her all new coming up on Fox 5 News at 5. And we're live outside the Fulton. A man accused in the murder of a Georgia State business student could be walking free before trial. That's if he can pay bond. A Fulton County judge set his bail at $100,000. <laughs> Fox News' Christopher King speaks with the victim's sister, who says her brother's suspected killer should be locked up. I feel a little bit defeated. Oh, God, another glider. Yo, we just whacking gliders out there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's it's always weird. I uh, plugging into the Ignatian bubble, man. It's fucking weird because this is not what you're hearing out in the world. Yeah, and, and I'm not looking for this shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like I don't yeah. know what these stories are. I just read the title yeah, and I save yeah. it. I don't know what none of this shit is about until I get on the show because I want to be sure. For I sure, be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, give a. Sure. Now, some things I've heard about on Twitter and shit like that. But yeah. For the but, most part. But when, when, that, 
But even when even when we pick a city though, it's the same yeah. shit. Exactly. You man. you let you let the chat pick a city. It's the same fucking sh- except Albuquerque. Yeah, except for Albuquerque, then it's like 50-50. This this is crazy, man. Like you gliders are taking it. You guys like this is worse than Hamas, man. It's like a slow Hamas. <laughs> Like we just drip, 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 a moss in your ass and shit. <laughs> shit is crazy. Damn. I feel a little bit defeated. Deidre Alexander couldn't believe it. I was very upset. A judge on Tuesday granted a one hundred thousand dollar bond to the man accused of killing her younger brother. Oh Derek. God. Hey, and yo, we only got ninety two likes. Don't we got 292 watching and 92 likes? That's fine, but we've had we've had like five, six hundred people come through. They might have um watched for a little time and clogged off. So we got 92 likes out of like 500, 600, 500, 600 people that have 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 actually clicked on the video. So um I'm not really worried about likes, man. Take the $5 right. challenge, damn it. Support the channel. If you don't want to hit the like button, that's fine, man. Right. The, the YouTube algorithm ain't going to work for me. I'm not <laughs> going to. I can get 10,000 likes, and they're not going to, like, promote my video. You know what, man? Hit the like, and you think that somewhere should get the death penalty. Yeah. They, exactly. They they not going they not going to give me no no bonus for y'all hitting the like button. So just take the five dollar challenge, man. Salute the whole thing. Hey, uh, the five dollar challenge. Go ahead. I saw, I saw a, a Sun Man fight at practice today. What practice? Immediately, immediately basketball. At the, he's a basketball coach, Chief. This guy right here. Oh, you a basketball coach? Okay, what's go ahead. I had to run in and uh, grab one of them. But I Uh-oh. think the Sun Man, it was actually a Sun Man versus a Puerto Rican. Sun Man was going to win. Did they, wow. did they fight at all? Did they get to hit or not? For like five seconds. Um, man, you said the Sun basketball Man was going to win it? Basketball players don't. They don't fight. Not really. Yeah, basketball players, they they, they scuffle and they push and they. But yeah, Red, wrestle. Yeah, a punch connected flush in a basketball game and that's good though because these guys are tall they're long they're pointy they hit hard you really don't want to see that you don't want to see basketball players because they're so big you know basketball players man. Are huge, man. yo I, I was telling this dude he's lucky he's not a youth football coach <laughs> yeah oh yeah we're gonna get into that man trust me we're gonna get into that trust me um Salute to Benedict, man. He said, keep going. Uh, yeah, man, we in the building, man. Shout out to Benedict, man. Um, whoo, This guy, man, poor fucking guy, man. Poor bastard, man. I feel a little bit defeated. Deidre Alexander couldn't believe it. I was very upset. A judge on Tuesday granted a $100,000 bond to the man accused of killing her younger brother, Derek. I was caught off guard uh, that he was given a bond, and I was caught off guard even more so at the dollar amount. Prosecutors say last April, Quatavin Williams shot and killed Derek Alexander as he sat in a car. Quatavin Williams? Quatavin Williams. Prosecutors say last April, Quatavin Williams shot and killed Derek Alexander as he sat in a car at the Creekside at Adamsville Community on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in southwest Atlanta. What was this kid doing on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive? Unless you lived there. Unless you fucking lived there, you fucking glider, man. I'm trying to help you fucking people. It's hard to help gliders, man. Fuck are you doing on Martin Luther King Fuck the Junior Boulevard. Mm. Fuck is going on, man? Buying drugs? Right. Yo, Ike, have you ever seen the show uh, Game of Thrones? Oh, I, I, definitely. 
Well, remember the scene. Remember the scene where they walk down and they like a holler, shame, shame. I would well, love to get. Naked, I would love to get walk naked through the streets. Yeah, yeah. I would love to get that judge who gave that bond, and I'll be the guy with the bell. Shame, yeah, man. shame. No shit on you, shit. Right? Why? Why would you give this guy? How does that make any sense? Let's see his story. Maybe, maybe it's mitigating factors in the story. Let's see the story. dollar amount. Prosecutors say last April, Quatavin Williams shot and killed Derek Alexander as he sat in a car at the Creekside at Adamsville Community on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Southwest Atlanta. I don't think that he should have gotten a bond. Well, generally, when someone's charged with murder, it's going to be hard to get a bond at all. Tom Church is a criminal defense lawyer. Church says it's more common for a judge to deny bond for a murder charge. But he says a judge can grant a bond if the defendant meets four criteria under Georgia law. They're not a risk for flight. They're not a danger to the community. They're not a risk for intimidating witnesses. And they're not a risk for committing another felony. If they do get a yeah, but his name's Quantavian, man. He a risk for all that, man. <laughs> I, all, all of them. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe, maybe I don't have a law degree. Maybe that's a problem. It's crazy. Another felony. If they do get a bond, it's going to be a high sum, like a hundred thousand dollars or more. Alexander, a prosecutor in another local county, believes Williams is a threat. No bond amount. If he so, is this the shooting? They would just. The robbery going wrong. It he looks like they were no uh, bond amount. If he was, yeah, it looked like they was just like, like probably saw him and probably plot on robbing him or something, you know. Yo, I, I could definitely, uh, you remember that Negro from Negro Land narrating? I could see him narrating this stuff, this one right here. Yes, I, I, I got some more Negroes from Negro Land stuff, man, but I, I, I could never get a chance to fit it in because there's so much stuff going on. I'm going I'm to get back to the Negro. I'm going I'm to start dropping the Negro from Negro lands again. Williams is a threat. No bond amount, if he was given a bond, was going to make me happy. I, I don't think that this individual should be allowed to walk around. Christopher King, Fox 5 News. Damn. Shit. Straight up just slaughtering y'all, man. And getting a bond. Killing white people is like literally like a sport now for black people. Um, it's like littering. 